Hi, my name is Bert, and today I'm playing Sliver Grave Mother. Today my plan is to overrun the board with slivers and a sliver, sliver, sliver. Hey, I'm Catherine. Today we're playing Commodore Gruff. We're a Jeskai Super Friends deck that aims to put out a ton of Planeswalkers and use the value to win the game. Hey, my name is Brett, and today I'm playing Zuladoc Void Gorger. The plan is to get Zuladoc out and then drop massive Eldrazi. Hey, my name is Micah, and today I'm playing Anicthia, Hand of Erebos. Basically, my plan is to play a ton of enchantments, turn them into zombies, and swing out for game. So we got our starting hands, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm actually going first. So let's go ahead and draw our hand and get started. Let's get started. <laughs> My dick doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> um, draw. I will play a swamp and pass turn. I will draw. And I will play a tapped land. Mm. Pass turn. <laughs> I'll draw. Draw turn. You don't run anything else in that deck. I'll play, I'll play a Wastes, and I'll pass. All right, I'll draw. I will also play a tap plan, but mine scries. So, <laughs> okay. Big, big step up here. Big benefit. I'll here. go ahead and keep that card on top and pass turn. That's right. I will draw, play a forest. We'll go ahead and tap two to play Binding of the Titans. So when it enters, each of us mill three. That's rude. I like that. Sounds like the classic three lands. Oh. Oh. Only two classic three lands. I also only had two lands in my classic. <laughs> I did too. I hit one, but you milled my talisman. Oh well, that's. Oh, that's. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Fortunate. Uh, and that's my turn. Let's play an exotic orchard. Mm. So we get colors now. And the and the non-existent colors. Yeah. <laughs> and the absence of color. The absence of color. Uh, I will tap a white and blue. And let's play our crystal sliver. Okay. And I will pass turn. All my slivers have shroud. Ooh, that's a good one. I'll draw. That's a good draw. I'll play your reliquary tower. I will pass. Alright, I'll untap. I'll draw. Play a Mystic Gate. And then, since my talisman's no longer with us, <laughs> I'm gonna use Mystic Gate to filter in double white. And I'm gonna play a card, Togopher's Hawk. Okay. And I'll okay. pass my turn. Draw. Um, saga. Oh, yeah, Saga. Uh, so I exiled two target cards from graveyards for each creature card. Exiled this way. I gain one life. I have no creatures. I got a sad robot. I have a blown He got splitters. creatures. I got. Get that silver out of here. The, not the silver. Yeah, get, robot. get your solid sad, sad boy out of here. I you get two tired. life. I don't You're winning. Yet. Yeah. We've, we've hit the top. We did it. Uh, I'm going to pay two and cast Dreadhorde Invasion. Ooh. Best draft card. Um, mm. So good. And that's my turn. All right, let's untap, draw. Let us play a swamp. And then let us play... a blur sliver. Ooh. Yeah, so sliver creatures you control have haste. Uh, so I will be moving to combat. I'm definitely gonna swing the casual four at Micah. <laughs> but I was ahead! <laughs> now, now you're not. behind. That's sad. <laughs> if yeah. only enchantments could block. And I will pass turn. They soon will they might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> soon. <laughs> Very soon. I'll play Urza's Tower. Uh oh. That's scary. Oh, that's really pre and. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> There's a lot of passing. I'll untap and I'll move through my upkeep and draw. 
All right, for my next trick, I'm gonna go straight to combat. Whoa. And I'm gonna swing Cartographer's Hawk at you. Okay, so I'll take two. And Cartographer's Hawk will trigger, since you have more lands than I do, mm -hmm. I'm gonna return it to my hand and go get a planes for my deck. Mm. Take two. And I don't have any, wait, I might have one cool one. A cool mm -hmm. land? I might have one cool land. It doesn't say basic, we can get the cool, cool. land. <laughs> Alright, off of my hawk, I'm gonna find a prairie stream. Ooh, okay. Same. And then I will shuffle in one moment. Uh, for my land for turn, I am going to follow and play an exotic orchard. Let's go. And then I'm gonna play this silly little card that's gonna cost me four life. Oh. And play a Norn's Annex. Oh. Okay. okay. Creatures can't attack me or planeswalkers unless you pay two life or a white. Okay. Wow. With that, I'll end my turn. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm just gonna chill over here for a little bit. It's, it's gonna fun. be hard for you to pay the light instead it's of gonna, the two lights. It's light. gonna be hard for me to play the game. Nah, <laughs> filter it in, <laughs> filter it in. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I'll go to three. I get to return target creature or land card from my graveyard to my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Crows and Birch. Oh, I forgot a trigger there. My yeah. Red Horde Invasion. Makes his own army. army. And it's a one one. Okay, you get some life. Yeah. There you go. That can get some. Yeah. See, I'm losing extra now. Well, not anymore. And then your saga will stack. Yeah. It goes to four. That's not on there. <laughs> <laughs> and does it again. Uh, <laughs> then I will temple a plane. I'll describe. Yeah. Oh, you should mill for three. Oh, from just because you catch it on top. <laughs> no. I will untap and draw another tap land. It's tapped. But your mana is almost perfect. My mana is almost true. perfect. That is true. And by variance, my mana is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I got you guys on the colorless. Don't worry. Uh. Makes it easier to pay for that arcane signet. It sure does. <laughs> Let's play a hollow head sliver. So you can control it. have I think this is rummage, discard first and then draw. Yeah. Uh so yeah. I will two life is a lot. <laughs> I'm at 40? Ooh, I'm on the throne. You are on the throne. And I'm at the lowest, so. I guess I'll just pass then. We'll just keep my keep my squad up. Okay. Get some blockers. Mm -hmm. okay, draw. Everything's alright, guys. I got our power on it. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Blood Moon. Oh. And then I'll tap four. And I'm playing Myriad Construct. I'm not gonna kick it though. But it does enter. Uh, when it becomes starting of a spell, sacrifice it, create a number of one-one construct artifact creature tokens equal to its power. I'm just getting it out there to have something so I can stop being hit in the face. That's valid. Anyway. Alright, I'll untap and draw. I'll untap and draw. I'm going to go ahead and cast my commander. Make sure I have the mana of red, white, and blue. <laughs> Commodore Gov. <laughs> Um, so he's gonna enter with five loyalty. I'm gonna take him up to six, and I'm gonna make me a little wizard friend oh. that can tap and make mana for planeswalkers. And it can only be used for planeswalkers. So a neat little wizard friend. He is a neat little wizard friend. Um, I'm going to play a myriad landscape as my land for turn because it enters tapped, and then I will go ahead and pass the turn, and he won't have a target. So. Okay. Tap. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to pay three to cast Kodama's Reach. Uh oh. He's reaching. I am reaching for the stars. It's a land you reach for, but I understand yeah. where you're going with that. It's actually two. Mm -hmm. Stars don't have land on them. Tent. 
play Cross Merge. That's my turn. Any of turn, I'm gonna tap this crystal sliver to discard a tap line. A another tap line. I will cast a tap line. Tap lands. <laughs> <laughs> my lands are tapped. Uh, and then I'll let blue to my turn. But you can't tap those. What? They're tap lands. They're tap lands. <laughs> it says it on the card. Infinitely yeah. tapped. Yeah. Oh, and here's the battlefield tap at the beginning of your. Don't untap. At the end of your draw step. <laughs> this tap land taps itself. <laughs> if it's not already tapped, tap <laughs> The land is not tapped. Whoa! That's not, that's not allowed. Secluded courtyard. As it enters the battlefield, oh, choose a, a creature one. type. Hmm. Ninjas. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Right? <laughs> rock. I want to say trilobite very bad, but. <laughs> that was so Okay. That, that was fun. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Frogs. I guess. I just don't get it, though. The, the, the Phyrexians. <laughs> I named, I named uh, Phyrexians. How does this work? Okay, yeah. Uh, that means this is a big turn, so we can tap <gasps> this for... Uh -oh. Whatever, because right, we, we got per we got the mana for it. You do. Uh, and we can play three for a Siphon Sliver. Ooh. So our creatures you control have lifelink. And... So big. They got health. And then two for a sinew sliver. Ooh. All and it's a lord. <laughs> yeah. All slivers you control get plus one, plus one. So all slivers right now have rummage, haste, shroud, plus one, plus one, and lifelink. Yeah. Yep. It's okay. You know. Everything's fine. That's why, that's why, that's why, that's why okay. I got this myriad out here. <laughs> just in case. And yeah, they're There's still a lot not big enough for there. you. Like, they're just too. I'm so big over here. Everything's fine. It's Everything's a baby. Fine. It's a baby. Um. That's a big baby. <laughs> it's a large <laughs> baby. That is for sure. <laughs> I gotta have the silly tutu. It is a tutu. <laughs> All right. So let's move to combat because that's what we do. You're not swinging because you're valuable. Everybody else can go home. Um, <laughs> Taking the ball and going home. Yeah, I did that as a kid. So much power. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna swing. A 3-3 three, three at Micah. Bro. I will swing two 3-3s three, at, uh, I'm going to say Commodore Go. Okay, and I will have a trigger. Yes, yes, you will. And uh, I think that's it for attacks, because you thick over here. Um, so I will pay uh, two seats for four life to attack. Uh, I'm gonna move to blockers, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna throw my wizard buddy in front of one of your three three slippers. Okay. And Gruff will go to three loyalty. Okay. And so are you taking three? I'm three? gonna block with my zombie army. Wow. They come back from the dead. I'm not too worried. They about come it. back. Like, <laughs> they, they next be back. Turn. They be back. <laughs> They'll be here. They're a little yeah, weaker, but they're here. Life. Just give them. Just give them a turn. Wait, not life. Yeah. And I will end my turn. All right. Untap. Draw. Alright, we're gonna play a let's play let's play a Seagate Wreckage. And then I will, let's see, do I have anything I can do right now? Just knocked off my land on the table. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yeah. Scooter I didn't know we were playing land destruction. <laughs> yeah, let's chunk them off the table real quick, no big deal. 52 right. pickup. They're back. <laughs> 52 <laughs> land pickup. Alright, they're back. Where'd the third power plant come from? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where the third nurse's land came from. Definitely not under the table. All right, so I'll move, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm tap two. I'll tap my Urza's Tower and my power plant. Not that there's anything special. And I'll play Crashing Drawbridge. Ooh, that's a haste. So I can tap it to give my creatures haste. It's all an 0-4 defender. Um, I will move to combat. I'm going to swing my Myriad Construct. Construct. Coming at Commodore Guff. And you'll have a trigger. I want to pay what? Two life? Two life. Boom, boom. And he's down. Rip Commodore. Commodore's just scary. He's down. Commodore's scary. And then off that, I will pass. Oh, this is scary. Yeah, you're very scary over there, but there's not really much I can do in this scenario right now. Right. Oh, yeah, I don't know nothing about it. There's some, there's some clear over here in this deck. I just gotta get to it. So, look. 
If I can deal with the slippers, will you leave me alone for a second? <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I will leave they you alone. They got shroud. How are you dealing with my slippers? I'm about to show you. Watch this. Oh, it's a magic trick. trick. We don't got a target. I'm going to cast Chandra Awake in Inferno. Okay. And she can't be countered. And I will. So she hears with six. I'm going to go down to three and deal three damage to all non elemental creatures. Oh, oh okay. That'll do it. Oh. Uh, do I have a response? Cry? You can loot. Yeah, I can. I'm gonna rummage. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tap this. Discard a brute sliver. Ooh. Anyone got a slime? Mm. Try. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. All right. That happens, unfortunately, and I'm very sad because my board state was good. Well, my commander got killed in it. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and hey, with that, I'll pass the turn. All right. Commodore gets scary. I do get my zombie back. You hey, do. Welcome back. It's a little, little smaller. For it. A little smaller. Yeah, we're just we're am amassing a smaller mass. Overall. Um. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. To cast my commander, uh, Anixia, Hand of Erebos. Mm -hmm. Erebos. And then I'm going to exile a non aura enchantment card from my graveyard. I create a token of it that's. The token is a copy of that card, except it's a 3 3 black zombie creature in addition to its other types. Uh, Felidar Retreat. So I'm getting Felidar Retreat. That seems really good. It's a really good one. He hasn't played a land yet this time. So, so you have a creature that makes creatures or buffs your creatures? That seems really good. And gives me enchantments too. With a creature force. that grows every turn. And with that Felidar retreat trigger. And we're gonna make a cat. With the cat beast. Or is it just a cat? It's a cat beast. Let's go, buddy. There he is. Roar. Strong. Big strong boy. He'll grow up. <laughs> um, and that's my turn. I can't believe you've done this. Can't believe you're cat beast then. Okay. Draw. Cat beast like that. Uh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna forget this what is that one is. Of my enchantments. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> yeah. One of them for sure. It's triggering. Uh so let's just do uh -oh. There it is. Sliver Grave Mother. Legend rule doesn't apply to slivers I control. Each sliver in my graveyard has Encore X, where X is its mana value, and it has Encore. Um, I will pass the turn. Okay. It makes me really mad that your slivers aren't legendary. The legend rule doesn't apply. Oh, okay. Man. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, you building up enchant stuff that's not supposed we to be what it is. <laughs> it is. Can do stuff. How do you? I, I am going to play, enchant play enchant an Eldrazi <laughs> Temple. That's pretty good. It's really good. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and tap one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to tap four of these. Actually, yeah, we'll do this. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll tap for six. And we're going to play Julidon. Uh oh. Uh oh. So. Now, whenever I cast a colorless spell, or spells in general, with seven or greater, they have Cascade. Cascade. Um, and just because I can, I'm going to tap my Crashing Drawbridge to give it haste. And I don't know why I would do that. I'm going to not do that, actually. I'm going to swing. I'm not going to swing. I said I'll leave you alone. No pass. I, <laughs> I did. I'm going to keep my word here. I was thinking in my head I'll swing, but I was like, man, why? I said I would. I said I wouldn't do that. Draw for turn. Do it, Chad. Keeping just your word. <laughs> keeping my word. It's just a, you know. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't I'm know. going to take up Chandra. Okay. So everyone's going to get a. You get paint in your upkeep emblem. Oh. Oh. So we'll put it over here. So we all take one on upkeep. That's really good. I'll cheat. Then, gonna tap for white, blue, red. I haven't played a land for a turn. I'm gonna play Mobilize District. Okay. And then one, 
two, three colorless. And I'm gonna play Narsa Enlightened Master. Ooh. Seems good. And then I will pass my turn. There's a lot going on there. That is a lot. I'm going to untap. And then I will have a trigger. I do lose and then I lose from that. Great. Yep. And then I will come on. Yeah. Why not? Uh, white. White. Uh, Battle of the Hellabolt. Ooh. For each player, exile up to one, target non-saga, non-land permanent that player controls until Battle at the Hellabolt leaves the battlefield. So, chapter one. So we'll go, I guess, Chandra? It's non-saga, non-land permanent. And then we'll go... Yeah, probably. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm, uh, it's gonna be under that, so... Uh, and then I'll go ahead and get... There's a lot of yeah. Okay, cool. I'll just put them underneath the Great Mother for the time being. Just chill. Everyone's just, just gonna we're hang just gonna out. hang together. We're just hanging yeah. out. <laughs> just like that. Two a you know. and a Chandra. Walk into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So did that. Now I am going to. Swing a Nyctia at Bert. Wow, for how much? It is a 4 4 command. 4? Four. Four. And uh, when it attacks, sorry, when it attacks trigger, I get to do the exile thing and create a zombie. That's, that That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty so, good. So, binding of the Titans. Oh, we're going to mill again. Mill, back. mill 3. Mill 3. It's a waste. Spiteful sliver. No, my favorite oh, sliver. Geode golem. I hit my swords. I can't swords grounds. the commander anymore. I will saw that. That's pretty good. So. Any other busted things? That's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, this is not looking so great. So now for I us. get to go look through my library and grab all the enchantments. They're all 3 3 zombies. They ended the battle. Yeah. Tap and of you course. will drop. Take one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Thank I you. got you. Thank you. The fire still burn. Well. Oof. Ouch. Owie. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. you keeping up with that trigger because I will forget every time. <laughs> Magic players forgetting triggers. Destroy Ooh, all enchantments every time. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. I wish. Don't but do it to me, Bert. It is good. You don't want to do that to me. Uh, I'm gonna play a decimate. Oh, that's still pretty oh, good. That's solid. So we're gonna destroy target artifact. That's gonna be Nora's annex. All right. We're gonna destroy target creature. Oh, um, I think it has to. Be. Hmm. <laughs> Those Anakthea kind of popping off. I think she is. Don't do it to me, Bert. I didn't do anything to your commander. Battle at the Hellvault did. It wasn't me. Okay. I didn't want Some to. Serious oh, okay. Like well, you put it like that. <laughs> no, it's, it's gonna be Anakthea. Okay. Uh, target enchantment, which is going to be battle, battle of the hill. Ball. Ooh, we got our and then back. target land. I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta hit. I think it's going to be the the temple. temple. Yeah. yeah, that's reasonable. I did give you Ooh. a commander back though. Hey, Zwalok's back. That's all. He's here. He's here. He's Mine's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who did that. I don't know what happened. Some a, dude, a like, four four killed it. I, look, it's not my. Uh, they, they have four fours and stuff too. He's good. I'm gonna tap one and play a Gale Rider slip. Like it's on oh, flying, right? Yeah. I, I feel like we're getting the short end of the stick here. <laughs> <laughs> um, it does give them flying, and so it's the great, it's the great one that has flying. And so let's move to combat. And uh, does she have haste? Oh yeah, you're right. So I'm just gonna move through combat. The legendary rule doesn't apply to her. Yeah, the, the legendary rule is <laughs> not legendary. <laughs> she also has encore. This oh. isn't legendary either. <laughs> Nothing's legendary. Nothing's <laughs> legendary. <laughs> Not um, an encore with one. With, with that new bit of information, I'm gonna just pass turn. All right. <laughs> when you're upkeep, you'll take one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Untap. Draw. Let's play. Ooh, it's hard. We're gonna play Majoring Network. And I'm going to pay one and tap Majoring to throw a counter on it. And then I'm going to. You know, 
Let's do how much we got. We got okay, yeah. We're gonna tap four. And we're actually going to play Kit Overflowing Chalice. Uh, for two counters on it. Nice. And with that, I will pass. Alright. I'll go to my turn. I won't take one of my upkeep. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's like it's your planeswalker or something. And I'll uh. turn. Um, I am going to, before I do anything, see where we're at. It's a spicy little table. <laughs> it's a spicy it's little suddenly table. gotten a little <laughs> spicier. <laughs> So I think I'm going to start by cracking my myriad landscape. Okay. And I'm going to get two planes. Okay. So here is the thing. I am going to wipe out my own Narset, most likely this turn. So. I will swing three at you because you killed my commander. That's completely reasonable. And I'll have a trigger off Narset. I'll exile the top four and I can cast non creature spells. Two, three, and four. And then the rest will go stay in exile. Don't Ooh. slide. Timber! New dragon shields. Fresh dragon shields. <laughs> Alright. He's good exile. I'll cast Talisman, and then I'll cast Oath to Fairy. Um, when the Oath to Fairy enters the battlefield, I'm going to exile another permanent I control, and then return it to the battlefield. Ooh, blinking. And with that trigger on the stack, I'm going to target my Talisman, and I think I'm going to pay a life and make a white mana. Mm -hmm. So I'll have a white floating. Oh, is that the next end step? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to blink my Narset. Yeah, that uh. seems good. Um, and then it says I can activate loyalty abilities with Planeswalkers I control twice each turn. Ooh. Well, no, we're about to take some damage. Uh, so... Oh, our upkeeps. You are. I'm actually... I <laughs> no, I am too. I can't do it. <laughs> ...going to kill Chandra and deal six to everything. Oof. Ouch. So I will deal three first and then another three. Tapped out. Owie. My poor little buddies. Yeah. Y'all were casualties of the 7-4 <laughs> <seven four> Cascader. <laughs> <laughs> Who has that card? Um, it's okay. I'll get so my Narset will die. I am then going to cast a Talisman of Progress. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to tap um, for a white because you have all the mana. I do. And two colorless. And I'm going to cast uh, Mangarna, the Diplomat. Oh. So, 2-4 Life Linker, whenever mm -hmm. y'all attack with one or more guys, I draw a card. Whenever you cast two more spells, I draw a card. It's the best part about playing Magic. <laughs> and then I'll go to my end step, and Narset will come back. Okay. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. I still take one of You don't have stuff anymore. And then I'll have a Chandra trigger for you as well. Just don't stay down. I kind of wanted my throwing bird, though. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go here. Tap yeah, tap land. land. Tap land. I know how it feels. Kind of. I mean, not every that way. I, I, I must add it to my collection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I am going to pay two green. Tap and sack person. Verge to search for a forest and a plains, put them on the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Oh, tapped. Tap lands. Tap so, I, did, I did tap lands. I did too. You did? <laughs> I think I'm the only one that hasn't played a tap land. Yeah, yes. I, yeah I feel like the dual color uh, untapped yeah. colorless is too much. Yeah, too that, would be, that would be rough. It was broken. I had to, do, I had to get rid of it. Like oh. Colorless and colorless. <laughs> tap for colorless and colorless. All right, sweet. Colorless or colorless. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary that you can just, just encore your commander. Yeah. And just like unga bunga it out. <laughs> it's like boo! Ah! <laughs> uh, then I am going to yeah. pay three, 
to cast Cunning Rhetoric. Whenever an opponent attacks me and or one or more Planeswalkers I control, I exile the top card of that player's library. I can play that card for as long as it remains exiled, and mana of any type can be spent to cast it. Ooh. So I can even cast your stuff. You can! <laughs> I can play that in my you can play stuff! <laughs> can play stuff and things. Uh, that's my turn. All right, what are we doing here, folks? Well, you're taking think. one in your upkeep. I am definitely taking one I'm trying one to make sure my commander upkeep. survives next time. Uh, no, we ain't doing that. To be fair, the only people that have lost their commander more than once is Burton. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> top one! Whoa! That's unreal! Where, what? What? And we're gonna tap five for a might sliver. Ooh! All slivers are controlled. Big plus lord. Two, plus two. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, all slivers get plus two, plus two. So I'll play some slivers. Uh, I might. I might. I if you attack me, I might. He might do it. He might. Slivers. I'm gonna pass turn after that. All right, and ten. Draw. All right. Let's see. We're gonna play. Mirror pool, which is a tap land. Yes, oh, did it. Yeah. We completed it. <laughs> All right, let's see what I got in here. All right, so it's colorless lands. I think we just gotta make sure it was colorless. Oh, I think we found the sure. title to this video. Yeah. Tap lands. Oops, all tap lands. Oops, all, all tap lands. lands. <laughs> um, we're gonna do a little funny, a little ha ha. So I'm gonna tap for one, two, three. I think four, five. Then That's how numbers work. <laughs> tap that for six. Oh man, I'm one short. That's okay. Um, I'll tell you what we'll go ahead and do is we will go ahead and we'll tap for eight. Let me try again. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So I'll tap for eight to play my command. He back. He has returned. Only for the moment. And so I'll tap that. I'm not burning the counter on this. What does the counter do? It just adds more mana. So um, I can tap it, remove any number of storage counters from Mage Ring, and add a colorless for each storage gotcha. counter. Okay. So I can also just tap it for a regular colorless. So, uh, and with that, I'll pass. All right, I'll untap. And I'll draw for a turn. Mangarna, you did nothing. Congratulations. <laughs> you just exist. Um, I think we're just going to start by going to combat. Yeah. And... I've got a pretty big blocker, and I will take one of your planeswalkers. Well, that's oh. what I'm worried about. <laughs> is not the blocker. It's the two no, taking my stuff. Don't say that when he's right here. Wait till he dies again. Oh, he's so scary. <laughs> he's so terrifying. Scary. He's got menace when... No, he doesn't. Never mind. No, he just Life hangs out. I was going to say, when, when, she, when, she, when the Nixie is out, before he, we go combat. Since I have cards to play, I think we should just play him. <gasps> All right, I'm gonna tap for two colorless. Playing cards. I am gonna play cards. Shoot, just gotta shoot. In magic, playing cards in magic. Concept. Uh, players gotta play. Um, and then I'll tap for a white, and then mobilize district for another colorless. I'm going to cast a Johnny Steadfast. Oh no! It's another planeswalker. It doesn't throw planeswalker. Mm -hmm. What is this deck built around? <laughs> so um, his plus one says until the end of the turn, up to one target creature gets plus one plus one. First dark vigilance shall I flank. Ooh. His next two says I put a one-one counter or a loyalty ability or a loyalty counter on everything, and his next seven says if I were to take damage or a planeswalker would take give me damage, I prevent all of it except for one. Ooh. And yours with four. So I'm going to tick him up to five mm -hmm. and target my Narset. Ooh. And I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to swing four at you, and I'll have an attack trigger. Okay. I'll exile a land, a blasphemous act, oh, no. a wafer's bobble, and a jace, architect of thought. Um, I will cast the jace and the wafer's bobble, and it's until the end of the turn. We'll see what happens. I might, I might not cast it, but I have four coming at you in the air. Then I'm taking four, and I will gain four. Okay, main phase two. Let's see what we're working with. So Jace will enter with four loyalty. I think we will cast another Planeswalker. <gasps> um, we're gonna cast a Nahiri, the Harbinger. Ooh. Um, so I'm gonna use her plus ability to go to six, mm -hmm. I'm gonna discard a card if I do draw a card. I'm gonna discard Jaya's Phoenix. 
Ooh, okay. And then I'll draw. Then I'm going to shortcut. I'm going to take out Jace twice. Mm -hmm. So Jace says, um, whenever a creature would attack me, um, or whenever it attacks in general, it'll get neg one, neg twice. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Suddenly things are small. And then. Yeah, I wouldn't know what it's like having creatures yeah, that are small. That's just. Oh, shit. That's all creatures or just. All creatures. All creatures. Oh, that's good. The, the sound of your voice knocked my head. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the waves just. Whoosh. The so sound soon. waves. Um, sound waves are the magic card. I am going <laughs> to pick up Nahiri again to eight and discard a cartographer talk and draw a card. Ooh. Big planeswalkers. Big planeswalkers. I'm going to tick up a Johnny and just target my Narset again. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I will pass the turn and Blasphemous Axe will stay in exile. Ooh. All right. We did it. We did it. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. So I'm going to take two. Yeah. Because that, and then my zombie. Should have untapped first. Then, draw. If you get other slivers out there, they're they're beefy. They're, they're pretty big. If you on if you encore your grandma, your sliver grandma, she all of a sudden is a eight eight. <laughs> <laughs> she a big girl. And eight just one. out of out of the graveyard. Tier three. To cast a ghoulish impetus. Uh oh. What does that do? Uh, so it's an enchantment. It's an aura. Uh, an enchanted creature gets plus one plus one, has death touch, and is goaded. Mm -hmm. And then when the enchanted creature dies, Ghoulish Impetus goes back to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. Mm -hmm. That's a very good card. So, uh. Oh no, <laughs> not Jewel. Powerful. 8 5 with oh. death touch goaded. He's gotta, he's gotta go somewhere. He's, he's gotta, gotta go, go somewhere. He's gotta go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna gorge the void. Here we go. <laughs> That's a big boy. He's yeah. large. <laughs> He's very large. That's what I meant by funny. It's kind of haha -ha funny, but also He's glad big. it's not coming at me. It's, <laughs> my, it, it's just big deck. That's all it is. It's just a large deck. To cast font for a And I'll have him a gauntlet trigger. Yep, just play two spells. card. <gasps> Should have been counting. Just, ah, the just, counting the thing one got me after one. <laughs> play half a spell. Why don't you play half a spell? It always gets me. The number that comes after one. No. What's it? Uh, three. Mm -hmm. Um, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. That's your turn? That's my turn. That's your turn. Well, what about my turn? What about second turn? <laughs> but yeah, well, <laughs> second turn still takes a damage. We need a second turn. That is true. You're right. <laughs> and Look, look second only turn 38 more turns to go. <laughs> we got it, guys. Hey, 29 right there for, for my go. Oh, Dad's got a win call on the table. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. I'm here for the long game, you know? <laughs> She's we'll slowly just... We're the frogs. <laughs> She's just turning up the heat. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's thematic because it's Chandra. <laughs> the water's boiling. We gotta get out of this. That's my favorite Chandra Planeswalker. I love playing. I didn't realize that was a plus two ability. That yeah. is Why? nuts. Why? Many a control mirror have been broken by that card. Because <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, that can't be countered. I can't go very long on this. <laughs> There's a there's a countdown clock on this now. Caramel. Ooh, wow. that's not a sliver. Uh, what does she do? Fake fan. There's so, a lot of words. Yeah, there's a lot of words. Uh, fan, if she enters the battlefield, create choose a creature type. It's weird. I zombies. Yeah. Shh. Zombies. Uh, uh, Eldrazi. I don't know what the two planeswalkers. Yes, slivers you control and you non <laughs> and non token creatures you control are the chosen type in addition to their other creature types. The true, uh, the same is true for creature spells you don't you control and creature spells you own that aren't on the battlefield. So I mean, I guess it, it basically just means that everything, every creature spell in your deck is a sliver. Mm -hmm. If you gain control of something, it's a sliver. Slivers. Yeah, it's a slivers. Yeah, that would mean. Sh that she, she is. She is a sliver. So yeah, she, she is, is a sliver. sliver. Yeah, that is correct. We were real wrong. fan. I was wrong. We were wrong. <laughs> Real fast. What's the bottom part? There's a little bottom. Part. Oh yeah, uh, three tap. Uh, create a colorless sliver to creature token. Oh. Oh, yeah. so it would be a sliver. A sliver sliver. <laughs> yes. Did you say colorless? A sliver <laughs> colorless. Colorless. <laughs> um, that's you cool. can you can cast it. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Attacking is not looking <laughs> like the way this game. What's on the board? I don't know about that one. I don't know either. All I know is I have to. So, if I can clear the way if you attack him. The game's got to end. Ah, no! So, um, to combat. when you move to combat, mm -hmm. I will cast Path to Exile. No! Targeting your commander. No, but then he doesn't die! And he doesn't <laughs> die and the enchantment goes away! You get to go <laughs> get a basic from your deck. Dang. Uh, I, I wonder what a waste. I wonder what I'm gonna get. Let's go see. Foiled. Forest. <laughs> it's gonna be a waste. It goes to my hand. Goes to the battlefield. Battlefield, that's right. Taps. Tap lands! Yeah, I'm in combat, so I will swing a 4 4 at you. Don't. Let's go, life total reducing! I'm no longer on the bottom, I'm actually on the top. <laughs> now we're here. Now we're here. We started from have the, the turns have tabled. I'm now on the bottom. I started on the top. I will pass turn after that. Right. Untap. I don't have eight counters on that. I have one. I will draw. Ah. Huh. I don't like that noise. Oh. Interesting. I don't like how many dice are here. I don't either, so I think I'm going to solve that issue. It's sp spooking me. You're going to solve the issue? There's a lot of solving. That's, that's a lot of mana. I'm tap seven. Okay. All is dust. That's, Ooh, yeah, that's pretty good. Each player sacrifices all permanents they control that are one or more colors. And then I will tap my Amber Floating Chalice to play Endless Atlas. And I will pass. Alright, I will untap. Was that creatures and planeswalkers, right? That were um, one or more colors? Or is non permanents. permanents. No. Permanents. Did you take your one in the upkeep? Of the I way? did not. I guess there it is. In response, I could use the. Yeah. I'll do that then. Just sack that and go get something out of it. Go get a land? A basic land. Okay. It's something. It beats nothing. Like what I got in here. We out here. I'm gonna have to Back to back to no board, we out here. I'm gonna have to slip a grave mother to get my slip a grave mother back into <laughs> the command zone so I can slip a grave mother. <laughs> so you so, can sliver grave mother. So I can sliver grave mother. Oh Word to your sliver grave Red mother. <laughs> Word to One, me. One, two, three. I'm going to recast my commander. Welcome back, Guff. Guff, you missed a lot. He, <laughs> he woke up from his nap and was like, whoa. <laughs> he walks on the battle he's like, what happened? Everything is dust. I'm going to make a wizard. <laughs> and then... I'm gonna tap for two and then three colorless. I'm gonna cast Vronos, Mass Inquisitor. Sweet. Ooh. Finally got to see him after Groot killed him. He's back. I'm gonna take him up and then at the end step, I'm gonna phase out up to two other target planeswalkers I control. Ooh. Um, so I'm just gonna phase out Commander Gruff. So he is not here and I'll pass the turn. He's in the upside down. All he right, is in the upside so down. So now I uh, just take the one from Chandra because you got my zombie. And I don't zombie know what, I don't know what you're about. You got too about. much value off of that. You like always had a blocker. Always had a blocker. Uh, it was like sure scary. Thing. Now he's dead. We can talk about him. No. Don't <laughs> talk bad about him. He was nice to me. He <laughs> kept me safe. I'm going to tap one, two, uh, one, two, three, and four. To cast Culling Ritual. Ooh. Destroy each non-land permanent good. with mana value two or less, and I get a black or green for each permanent I destroy this one. Man. Way. Free for me. So does the green get black, I guess. Um, and then I'll just tap a white, because you are five, seven. So using that six and a white to cast a Nyctia, mm -hmm. which then gives me. It's back. No, I'm tempted. She's back. I'm Love, I love the deck. I'm not loving this. We're just gonna go there. Oh That's no, fine. hell of all. It's back. We ain't got none. That's true. He did just get rid of everything besides yeah. the, you know, planeswalkers. I'm it's trying to make sure though. that we're all on the same like page. Well, yeah. let me draw some cards. I got. I'm jazzing. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Oh, okay. That sounds like a lot, honestly. 
Um, that'll be my turn. Okay, let's let's yeah. Tap. And then I'll ping you. Thank you. <laughs> this game's Thanks. slowly coming to an end. <laughs> Thanks you for getting pinged. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to. Thanks for the damage. All right. Yeah, we. I, I have it. I promise. Five mana. I'm gonna encore the lady. Who's that lady? <laughs> Why did I go past her? What am I thinking? Guess what? The legend rule doesn't apply. It doesn't apply. All right. And I got two mana, so I can encore X. Yes, let's do it. Uh, tap for a white and because uh, it's an ability on a slogan, right? You activate ability on it. Yeah. So I will. Hey, do people have blockers? Not for real, so I don't need that. So I will get this sinew sliver. Oh no! All the non legendary sliver grave mothers are very large. They may should have put the copy tokens in here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Woo! That's kind of how I feel too. <laughs> that is a lot happening over on that board right now. Yeah, I'm doing the thing. You are certainly doing the thing. Um, I would like to move to combat. That's pretty good. Please don't. But the way these work is like, they kind of pair up. Mm. So. But they all still buff each other. They all still buff each other. So it's just like two of these at each. You know, that's how, how it ends up working. But. Uh, so my slivers are getting plus three, plus three, so... So are you taking 12? Right, math is hard. <laughs> plus three, plus three, yes, 12. Ooh. 12 to each person. You can block if you want to. And then we all have 12 commander There's... damage from the slivers. Oh, we do, you're right. Which, which, oh, one, it's, which uh... ones are attacking him? Uh, they're all three copies, so I don't think it's considered combat matter now. So I guess I have to name, because, yeah, they're all three copies. It, it matters on which one goes to. Yeah, uh, I'll swing it. Uh, I'll swing it. Uh, There's not an original. For, there is an original, because one is the original card that has Commander Ness. So I'll have the 12. Because it cares about the card. Did you yeah. Encore it? Yeah. <laughs> they're all copies. Encore is a copy. Oh, exile this card. Yeah. Never mind. You're right. Oh, okay. So yeah. So no commander damage. We still taking twelve though. I mean, we're still, still getting hit in the face. We're still getting punched, but it's okay. You're correct. And then they go away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you now. Uh, yeah. So now I don't. Have, yeah. Owie. That works. Life total's getting real low, big guy. I, I, look, look, <laughs> my big guys are not. My big guys aren't big guying. This is not good. <laughs> and they're, they're not large enough. I sacrifice them at the beginning of the next step. So they're gone. So Bye they're copies. Always, they're they're gone now. You're safe for now. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, we'll pass turn. All right. Well, untap. I'm still jazz hands though. Draw. I'm close. <laughs> I'm, I'm close. Oh no, I have a card. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. I love that card. Uh, I've got to make a play, but it's got to be a larger play than I've been making. Right, we're gonna do it. I don't know. You've been trying to make big plays. I've been trying, but they haven't been as effective. So that's gonna be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I'll tap nine to play Artisan of Kozilek. Uh oh. Oh. When I cast it, I may return target creature from my graveyard to the battlefield, and then it has Annihilator two. So I am gonna go ahead and return. Geode Golem. Oh. And Geode Golem, whenever he attacks or deals combat damage to a player, I should say, uh, I can cast my commander from the command zone without paying its mana cost. Yeah, that's fire. It's scary. I am going to pay Red Red Colorless and cast Sahili, Sublime Artificer. That's uh -oh. a good card. That's a good one. You know, I really good... like that day. It does look fun. Yeah. It makes me want to play Super Friends. Yeah. But like, put Joda as the commander on and Super Friends. And then <laughs> I am going to, because I need to draw some cards. I'm going to neg three Gruff. Ooh. Everyone's going to take two. Okay. I'm going to draw two. I 
have 11. Those really didn't help. A casual of 35. <laughs> Commander. <laughs> How dare. I'm gonna play a port town tapped. Okay. And then I will end my turn. Ooh. A lot right. of mana held up over there. So mm -hmm. it's always scary when there's blue on the board. Up, take the one, draw, then I get to choose permanence again because of my battle of is that the second phase? It is the second one. It it's the it first again. and the second? Yeah, so uh... Yeah, you gotta get rid let's of the Let's get rid of that Geo Golem. Golem. Alright, so and we'll just hang that the exile right I there. I guess Commodore Go. Makes sense. And... Uh -huh. He'll come back. He's gonna be back. Might be a little bit, but he'll be back. <laughs> wow. Uh -oh. I thought you were reading your cards and laughing. That's, That's like the, the worst wor thing that ever. That is the worst. I'm gonna tap uh, white, two, three, four, five, to cast Mondu Spirit Dancer. Oh, that's a really good card. Whenever an enchantment enters a battlefield under my control, I can create a, to a token that's a copy of it, and I do this only once each turn. That's kind of scary. It's a really good card. Nathia's on attack? Mm hmm. This has suddenly become much worse. <laughs> yeah. Let's. Very big swing. Let's not. Let's see if it, if it just works not out do for stuff. me. You know I that, think right? this will be fine. It's, oh, okay. It'll be. It'll be okay. Though. Oh, okay. So it's only coming at you. Oof. Okay. Oof. Just because of you. So I gotta pay the green and the white. I'm gonna cast Composer of Spring. Okay. So whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under my control, I can put a land card from my hand onto the battlefield tapped. Uh -oh. If I control six or more enchantments instead, I can put a creature or a land oh. from my hand onto the battlefield tapped. That's very good. Fortunately, I'm not going to get there, I don't think, but hey, it's kind of scary. You're at two of six. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, You're ready to get four so of let's six. go to combat. Bert, Anixia is coming at you. When it attacks, yeah. I'm going to get two copies of Red Horde Invasion. Ooh. His blockers are back. That's like value. It's a lot of value, because what? It's a... And then... Ooh, three each turn. Wow. I can play land from my hand for each of those, because they're enchantments entering. But I don't have lands in my hand, Good. so... <laughs> I will have to pass turn. That was almost scary. I mean, it was still really scary, but it was almost a lot scarier. <laughs> <laughs> Strong. All right. Okay. Mm. Let's play Commander Staple Land. Ooh. Um, <laughs> Untapped Land. <laughs> Untapped Land. Untapped Land. I wonder uh, what price is on that now. One of the six he has. <sighs> so you cost seven. I have mana. She's an expensive date. Listen. She's old, she knows what she wants. She's, she's a grandmother. <laughs> she's a sliver, sliver grandmother. Yeah, let's do that. She's she got, back. She got standards. The legend rule doesn't apply to me. Oh, the okay. legend rule doesn't apply to <laughs> Making sure. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm real tired of that. Oh, that's oh. like you're cheating fast. <laughs> Untap. You wish I could play three sliver grand, grave mothers. Draw. Be fine. <laughs> grandmother. They all just live. Okay. Take your one. No, take oh, one. I don't oh, think okay. I got took one. This is not good. I'm at ten. I don't think I took one. All right. Yeah, you about to murder yourself with these uh, dread horde invasions. The only way I can survive is to kill myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> All right. We'll move to combat. <gasps> Bert. Uh -oh. Ten nine with Annihilator two coming at you. Oh no! The Annihilator two. The <laughs> you Annihilator give up the two. Or the Say goodbye player. to your precious tap lands, Bert. <laughs> I, I do think it has to be Le legitimately. I think you can sight Grave Mother and then kill it's him on the back. You might be able to. You're not wrong. What's the What's my least favorite land though? Why? 
Savage Lands. Ooh. <laughs> That's for you, John Players. So I'll say Super Great Mother and uh, Savage Land. And then take 10. And then take 10. Oh. Yeah. The casual 10. Boop. Alright, and I'll pass. Alright, on to scary, scary. And Imagine I'll draw his commander back. Yeah. Exactly. Very scary. Imagine he had his commander when he cast artist on Cosplay. Mm. Be kind of wild. Nothing like cascading off a nine. <laughs> <laughs> cascading to anything in the deck. Cascade to <laughs> Arcane Signet. Yeah. <laughs> Not wrong. All right, we're playing Chalice again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's only supposed to be one here. <laughs> The legend rule doesn't apply. That's oh no, oh, sorry, I'm getting my legs mixed up. <laughs> I can make your life a little easier on taking out Eldrazi. Mm -hmm. But that's about all I can do because most of my stuff this is under this. This is powerful over here, yeah. So I will... I just want the angel. I just want my stuff back. <laughs> Kill it. That's fair. I'm going to activate Mobilize District. Yep. It's a 3 3 citizen with vigilance. I'm gonna hit you for three. Okay. Uh, <laughs> might, might have a response. And colorless? <laughs> Five, six, seven, seven. I'll tap nine. Hit him with the, uh, with the <laughs> generous gift. What? And I will play Ancient Stone Idol. Flash. This spell costs one less for each attacking creature. And it is a 12 12. I will block your mobilized district with my 12 yep. 12 flashing stone idol. Commander staple ancient <laughs> stone <laughs> idol. We love it. <laughs> Main phase two. I will cast a honor worn shaku. I'm going to make a servo token. There's a lot of power on the board. All and the then I will <laughs> it's pass very, the turn. Very, flips okay. very quickly, but you know, numbers is the bad part. Hey, here. so look, when you attack and bring this back, can you please do something about that and let <laughs> my planeswalkers live? I can try. That is a lot of stuff. You you make two dudes. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so I do that, and then I take two because of my zombie army. That's coming back. And then you have a saga trigger here to make an 8-8 eight, eight angle. Yeah. And so, the only bad part about that is he also gets that back. <laughs> yeah. I do get my Geo going. This back. dies. We'll get some walkers back. Um, this is exile. Yeah. And then I need my 8-8. Eight, eight. Avacyn, Flying, Vigilance, Indestructible. She big. I don't like it. I don't know. I, I like it more than I like that. You're not wrong. You got this, cause I, I'm 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 confused. I think I'm gonna have. <laughs> What's going to on anymore? Take a little bit more of a chance. Here. I will let you attack me with my commander if you bring back the hell vault to get rid of that. Oh wait, does it exile itself? It exiles. Oh itself. no, because <laughs> it, it's it's just a copy of what it exiled, so that's gone. Um. So I'm going to try this. Two, three, four. Mind rack party. No. Uh -oh. What that do? At the beginning of combat on my turn, each player mills three cards. It's a three, two with flying. All right. Mm. So, with that said, let's go to combat. Right. Everyone mills three. Dreamstone Hedron. I will mill Urza's Ruinous Blast, Wall of Denial, and Chandra Legacy of Fire. Still Halkite and Pole. Shelter Thicket, Vanquisher's Manor, and an island. Yes. Um. Yeah. So I'll swing. I feel like you just sent in the team. I think I'll swing all three of these. Well, because one of those isn't a dude, remember? It's just an Oh, enchantment. yeah, it's just an enchantment. So you can swing those, though. Because you'll get triggers before you get some new blocks. Yeah. I'm gonna keep these two for my next turn. And he's gonna have to block. Both of these have menace. Ooh. So you just choose which one you want to block. So I'm gonna swing both of these at you. What are the powers? Uh, on? This one's a 4-4. Four, four, uh -huh. And then this one is a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, it's time trigger here, right? 
going? Yeah, so I'll choose an Ixborn Behemoth. So it'll enter as a 3-3 zombie. And then it'll also get a copy. That's normal next born behemoth. All right. Well, I will block. Uh, I can put a creature on the field. You can too, because of that, and it comes in tapped. So I'll play Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Ooh. It entered the battlefield, and it's an enchantment. So I also get a copy of it. Oh wow! It's all once per turn. I'm pretty yeah. Oh, it, it is. is one, it is. It is once per turn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's all my tricks. All right. Well, I will block your commander with Interstone Idol and Geo Okay. Geo die. And then dies. And kills the other Geo. I don't have my two exploring dudes. And that. And then. The zombie still gets you for three. Mm -hmm. um, that. Be my turn. All right. Find six two. damage. Well, you already know who it is. Grandma's back. I love when she visits. It's so nice, except when she hits me. <laughs> you about to hit you. Oh wait, don't you have the fine one in there? I do! Oh no! I do! Cause I'm, so I do this and uh and exile this so and, that I get And you go get the one that's on fire. Wow. Yeah. So it'll be two more two times you cast her. Two times okay. cast her. And then uh got four blue. I can see my life flashing before my eyes. To get so we all take it. Seven, right? Uh, it's still six. She's a oh seven because yeah, yeah, yeah. one one. Yeah. So uh, move to combat. He's tall enough. He should have reach. That's, that's <laughs> my, that's my he, You don't need anything else. So um, seven at. Everyone. I have no. How big is each one? One's a 6-6, six, 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 one's a 1-1. One. Okay, I have to, because otherwise I just murder myself with my zombies and the burn my next upkeep. So I'm going to path to exile the 6-6 six, six that's coming at me. Okay. Let's go. I will Land? take full 7. <laughs> Land? Hey, it comes uh, in tapped. And it is tapped. I take the 7. That's what you used to. That's what I'm used to. <laughs> Rip. You got anything else, Bert? I have nothing else. Uh, sadness on the stack. <laughs> sadness I, on the it'll stack. It'll Untap, and I'll draw for turn. Oh. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh. Um, I'm going to tap for blue, blue, red, and cast... Narset, Harder of Veils. Ooh, okay. I have a few triggers, so um, I will make an additional servo. So I'll have two. And then I have a graveyard trigger of Jaius Phoenix. When I can ever cast a Planeswalker spell, oh, yeah. um, I can put it back on the battlefield. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I can name a Planeswalker type and activate those loyalty abilities an additional time. Oh, wow. Cool. I'm going to neg three... Or Nag 2 Narset, I'll look at the top four, get a non-creature card. Non-land card. What does this card do? I will grab Semester's End. It's just beginning though. <laughs> and this will go to my hand. Then I'm going to neg two on my Sahili. Uh, one of these servos is going to become a copy. I don't have a copy. Can I borrow a copy card? Oh, we got copies for days. We got copies. I'm gonna make a copy of the Jaya's Flamebird. I'm gonna combat. I'm going to swing six at you, Bert. 
looking at six total? Six total. Okay. Uh, when I deal combat damage, I'm going to name some Planeswalker types. I will name Narset as one of them. Mm -hmm. So, I'll attack you for six. Mm -hmm. I'm six. going to name Guff as one of them. Mm -hmm. And Narset as the other. Okay. okay. Then I'll go to main phase two. I am going to tap Honor Worn for a colorless mana. And then I'm going to tap a Narset to untap it. Uh oh. And we're going to print value. And I'm going to tap it again and go to two colorless mana. And then I'm going to tap Sahili and untap it. And go to three colorless mana. And then I'm going to tap. Um, Vranos to untap it and go to four. I'll use four colorless mana and this neat blue land I have. And I will cast a Deep Close Gate. Uh oh. So when Deep Close Gate enters the battlefield, I will double the number of each kind of counter on permanence I control. Ooh. So Gruff will go to 10. Got some ultimates coming in. Vronos will go to 10. Sekili will go to six. Narsa will also go to six. I have two activations on both. Um, so I'm going to neg Narset down to four. Look at the top four, get a non land, non creature. Mm -hmm. um, I will find Gatewatch Beacon. Freaking dragon shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Too fresh. They really are. So fresh and so clean. Um, Gatewatch Beacon, when it'll enter the, if it enters the battlefield, gets three loyalty counters and makes a white, and I can move loyalty counters around from it. I'm going to neg three gruff. Put them down to seven counters. Um, each of you are going to take one, two, three, four damage, and I'll draw four cards. Okay. Ooh. Then it can just happen again. Then it can just happen again. So I'll draw my cards first. One, two, three, four. This might be in the line for you, Micah. Just need one more planeswalker. Really, really close. Oh, this is a planeswalker <laughs> deck. It's getting real low. <laughs> Sun's getting real low here, fellas. <laughs> I am going to filter in double blue. Uh oh. There it is. There it is. That's what we've been waiting for. I'm going to cast Spark Double. Oh, wow. Um, Spark Double is going to enter as a copy Scuff. of the Commodore. That's so good. Go. That's really and good. It'll have an additional loyalty counter going to six. And then since it's a Guff Commander type, I'm going to activate it you twice. Can activate it twice. To dome you for one, two, three, four, five, so ten. That's wow! So what a whoa! It'll technically be nine for you. Yeah. Because this will die first. Yeah. Wow. I'm, okay. I'm listening. That That's was, it. That, that, that was, was impressive. That was a good play. What a way to win. <laughs> <laughs> We the love extra the guff no one extra saw coming. Double <laughs> guff. <laughs> that was a good game. Well, that was fun. Now, you know. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Mr. Guff, we're sorry. 